What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Noodles of Team Shake Snake here. And I want to get back to where I was really good at the game. Around 2015, 2016, right before I stopped playing. There are a few reasons why I never got back into playing competitively as much as I did like in 2016. And some of those reasons are, first of all, I became extremely rude to my friends and my teammates. These are supposed to be the people I play with all the time and I hang out with even outside of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was just being extremely rude to them with Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff. I had one of my friends and teammates come up to me and ask me to look at his Pepe deck. And at the time, I knew everything there was about Pepe. So I looked through his deck and I asked him, why are you playing Bitbite? He's playing one random Bitbite, and I was like, why are you playing Bitbite? And he just goes, oh, Bitbite's just so cute. And I keep looking through it, and I look through it again to, to make sure I had everything from the previous conversation, and I go, Marshall, this is last week's build. You need to update it. And that was it. I didn't tell him anything else. I just said, this is last week's build. Why are you playing Bitbite? Didn't elaborate. And to me, that's pretty rude. And me and Derek, we actually joke about this all the time. So it's constantly in the back of my head as a reminder to not be rude, like, for no reason. But also, I was very rude to Caleb, one of my teammates and friends, mine and Derek's friends, close friend. I was rude to him for no reason all of the time. If you go back and look at any Infornoid deck, like dual or deck profile, I am 100% certain I am ragging on this boy. For no reason. Continuously. And it took Caleb leaving my house one night while we were testing for regionals. Me, Noe, Derek, and Caleb. Uh, I remember Caleb really playing Light Swarms and liking Light Swarms. At the time, I was playing Light Swarm Phantom Knight. And to me, that was like the far superior build. And Caleb playing Light Swarms, I was like, why are you not playing Light Swarm Phantom Knight? It has so much combo potential, why are you not playing it? So I'm just constantly ragging on this man. Not only in all the videos, but also in training. And he, he leaves. He's the first to leave, and he leaves the group chat. So, I've been very rude to him. I've, I've been so rude to him, in fact, that he's going to, like, stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And obviously, that's not what we want. This happened many years ago. Me and him are cool now. But it really opened up my mind to the fact that I was being super rude. And it's because I thought I had this amazing wealth of knowledge. And that everyone should just do what I say, which is obviously not true. But I think I can go back to being that competitive person. But without being rude. I don't have that many people I can play Yu-Gi-Oh with locally anymore. It's mainly just Derek and Sam, my teammates. We don't really, we don't have a locals. We haven't had locals in years. Uh, we don't have a card shop, we don't have a place to play. But I think because of the fact that I'm constantly reminded of the times I've been extremely rude for no reason, and the fact that I've aged, I've matured, it's been several years, that I can keep this under control, and I can start playing more Yu-Gi-Oh!, be more competitive, have more knowledge about what's going on in the game, instead of just kind of grazing the surface. And I think that's why I can finally return to being king of Enid Yu-Gi-Oh. I plan on going to the links that I have in the past, back in 2015, 2016, of knowing the game. And that essentially means almost all of my free time is going to go to Yu-Gi-Oh in some way, shape, or form. I used to play a lot on YGO Pro back in the day. Today, nowadays, I'm going to start playing on Project, uh, not Project, 
I'm going to start playing on YGO Omega because it has ranked. I'm also going to be playing a little bit of Master Duel whenever I have the time. And in between, when I don't have real TCG events to go to. So I plan on being more competitively online and in person. The first in-person regional I'm going to be attending this year is going to be in about a month. So I got some time to grind. Let's get to it.